This video was inspired by today being Children's Day celebration in Nigeria. As I am a Nigerian mom, I am using this medium to wish every Nigerian child a happy Children's Day. Welcome guys, welcome to another beautiful vlog with Amaka Benedicta. This is Letters to the Singles and Married Forum. Today we are in the family talk section. Do you wonder why your child behaves the way he or she behaves? Do you wonder why your child doesn't excel? Do you feel that your child's passion is ruined? Do you feel she, he or she does not have a good service team? This is the best video to watch. Today I'm going to tell you how to really care for your child. Stick with me. Welcome back. All you need to do for me, beautiful friends, I want you to sit back, get a cup of juice, and we, need, we all need to listen to this. If you are a mother, you are a father, you really need to hear this today. All right, let's move straight. How we can take care of our children and also be happy ourselves. Number one, love your child. If you have a child or you have children, that child require he, you to love him or her. You have to love that child and show that child that you really love the child. How do you do this? Once in a while, always learn to hug your children. This is why we have a lot of tyrants today. You know, when you hug someone, you are bringing that person close to yourself, to your chest, you close your eyes. That means, and the child is looking at you. As you are holding the child, the child is feeling, the child is reading every psychological, you know, um, attitude in you at that moment you are hugging that child there is this connection there is this closeness those who hug their children have close relationship with their children from henceforth please show them that you love them by hugging then the next is love them enough to show them take them out let them feel it both in material physical spiritual and even in your finance if you don't allow your children to partake of your finance if you feel you are that type that of parents you make money but you don't allow your children to be part of your money please who are you working for let your children feel the impact get them gifts buy them toys let them be happy being with you let them be happy calling you some fathers today when their pay, their children are coming to them they will just send them away friends let me tell us eh see you see this thing we are doing this thing we are doing, I mean parenting, is an obligation given to us by God. We should not misuse it. The truth is that there is no child that we bring forth into this world by ourselves. All children we have today, all child we have today, came through us. They came through, we are just like vessels. So we should do that which God wants us to do in their life. Don't be too busy that your children begin to live like orphans. Don't be too busy that your child begin to live like you have no father or mother get into their lives show them that you are their parents show them love send them to school provide for them all these are ways of showing love to your child and i believe if you do all this your child will be very very happy with you the second is train your child it is a different thing that told us to, to train up a child in the way he should go it does not only apply to words to discipline there are so many little, little things happening in our society today. See, parents, we need to get this. Let's teach our children the right thing. You understand? Because if we don't do this, at the end, it will bounce back to us. Whatsoever we sow, come back to us as seeds or during harvest. So please, in order to make good adults, we should train our children very well. For instance, some people have mates at home. Teach your children to what? To call uh, uh, mates with respect. Are you getting it? Madam Funke is Funke is the name of your maid. Sir, Theophilus, if Theophilus is the name of your man's servant. Simple etiquette. You understand? Because if you allow your children, if you give them that room to call your maids by name, you know, they already assume that position by themselves that they are all in all. They begin to feel like queens and princes. Please break that ego now. It is part of training. Train your child enough to partake with you in the, your house chores. Teach them hard work. Teach them to earn whatever they want, they want to receive. All right? Teach them that. Because if we don't do this now, there's nobody that is going to do it for us. Now, we are not living abroad. I am a Nigerian, an Igbo Nigerian from Enugu State. We literally train children to be good. 
We train children to respect and earn whatever they want. Hard work pays. If you want to eat, you must work. When we bring all these words, norms into our home, you see, the children will be braided in the right way. And when they grow up, they will be able to exhibit these good characters as adults. We are not in abroad and we are not adopting their culture. Let your children know. Train them enough to know where their roots. Speak your dialect to them. While at home, they are not in school all the time. When they return, teach them their roots. Let them know that they have a heritage to represent. You understand? These are ways we can train, train them to greet. All right? Train your girl child enough to always be with you in the kitchen while you cook. Some women today, some children today, once they grow, when they grow into adults as girl children and they get married, they literally cannot cook anything. They can't even cook water, so to say. They can't cook water. You see, charity begins at home. And mothers, please, do not teach your male children to be lazy. Do not create that notion in them, that belief in them, that the female children are, are to be hardworking at home. They should be the one clean. Teach them hard work. Teach the male to work. Why we have lazy men today who can literally not do anything is because its character can also be traceable to the home. Who told you that a male child cannot help you cook? Who told you that a male child cannot be sent to the market? Who told you that a male child cannot participate in house chores? These are the little things we need to... Let's build our foundation very well. This is know your child. Know your child. Some parents today are living in what? In chaos and in shadows. Why? Because they tend to compare their children, you know, with other people's children. Know your own child. Know the passion of your child. Know what your child can do and what your child cannot do. Bring that child close to yourself. Understand your child enough, you know, to guide him. Because if you don't understand the child, you will not be able to guide him. See, even identical twins can look exactly the same. We know that. But their characters, their passions, the way they act, their attitude are very different. Inside of them, inside their skin, they are different humans. So quit comparing your child with another or comparing them with one another. Quit doing that. It kills them emotionally. Sorry. It kills their emotion. It kills their passion. It kills what? Their love for you even. But when you know your child enough to understand that perfect gift, that perfect gift that God has deposited on him, you'll be able to bring that child close and treat him, you know, the way that suits him. I'm not saying that you shouldn't love all your children. But if you know your children individually, you'll be able to know how to what to react to everything they do. You understand? Know your child. Four is pray for your children. Pray for your child. Parents, learn to pray for your child. You understand? Pray for them. Whether you're a Muslim, you're a Christian, you're a pagan watching me right now, learn to pray for your child. Now, let me tell you this, Em. We are living in a world of words you understand it's make up of the battle of word whatever word we, that comes out of our mouth is like a seed are you getting and we all know that every seed what it once it falls to the ground it begins to what to grow it will sprout depending on what you know was added on it once you add manure to it it grows very well rain falls on it it grow very well that is how the words of our mouth are so we need to be the first to what to to lay the foundation of where we are planting them. We should be the first to, uh, to plant whatever thing we're going to plant in them. How do we do this? Pronounce positive words on your children. Pray for them. Call them by name. Bless them. Do not use, render your child useless through verbal abuse. All kinds of words, verbal words on their child to rain their self-esteem. You speak so negative of the child that the child goes out and won't be able to what? To stand his friends. Parents, please, I don't really know how to pass this. I might not be, I might not be passing this out in the perfect way, but please get the point out of what I am trying to explain to you. I am a teacher by calling. You understand? I've seen children in classes. When you call them, 
I have called the children. They will just be out of morbid fear from nowhere, but traceable to their homes. Parents, try to what? To pray for your children and pronounce positively. In the morning, when you see your child, be happy enough to, to what? To see your child. Call that child. Oh, my loving child. You bless the child. You can call him the ambassador of my word. Rain praises on your children. But I'm not saying that you should raise their ego enough that they will no longer respect you. Love them. Are you getting it now? Bring positive words on them. Pray for them. Bless them. Touch their head. Speak positively. When they are going to write exams, say good things to them. Then as them, say good things about them. Then they will respect you and they will know that what that you are with them. Now, another reason you should always pray for your child. See, it is not, <laughs> you say this issue of prayer is not something that someone should be telling you to do. It is a must do. You must pray for your child because of the kind of environment we find ourselves today, especially in Nigeria. Sometimes you what you open your what your television, what you say is missing child. Missing child. Children are missing. We don't know where they are being taken to. Children go to school. They don't stay with you. I mean, from zero o'clock to 24 o'clock. No, they don't stay. 24 7, they are not with you. Is it that your child is going to school or your child has gone to work or your child is in a social group? Except you don't want that child to what to you know be socialized. And is when that child will remain with you. I mean, they as far as your child goes out, it requires prayer. While in school, you are not there. You don't know what your child is doing. You don't know who is interacting with your child. You don't even know the teacher enough. You don't know the, the, the classmates enough. You don't know. That is why you must pray. That is why you must pray. There are pedophiles everywhere. Trying to abuse children of all sorts. I mean, if someone in its literal sense, wants to abuse or violate a newborn baby. Tell me why will you, you will not pray. And this leads us to the next. Protect your child. Protect your child. You can do this through knowledge to them every time. Sit them down. Talk to them. Tell them what is happening in the world before other people begin to tell them. Be the first, you know, means of their socialization. Let them know what is going on from you. By so doing, you will let you always draw them back to you. When they get to know new things from outside, they will come and confirm, you know, and confine in you. You see, protect the child. Don't be too busy that your child begins to live like an orphan. No. We know we must work. Our economy requires us to work as parents so that we'll be able to cut off our children. But please let us find out find time to always be with our children. We should not just be with them for being sick, but at that moment we are with them. Try to learn things from your child. Try to know your child. Try to be for. One day we are going to get old. It is that will nourish you tomorrow. So I believe that I've been able to help with these five tips I've given. If you find this video interesting, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. Comment in the comment box down below. So let me for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.